Hi everyone, in front of me I have the Xiaomi Trail smartphone and in this video I would like to show you the best display settings that you can possibly change on this device. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up settings look for the display category and here we are greeted with very standard uh, setting that allow us to change the color scheme of our device uh, and switch it between light mode or dark mode there is also some more dark mode uh, options that you can change for example uh, it is possible to adjust the wallpaper to the dark mode or adjust text and backgrounds of your smartphone automatically and there is also an opportunity to regulate the dark mode on some other apps individually so even if your system is in dark mode you can still use the, so any separate apps in a light mode next we have the brightness level which you can also regulate by also in this bar or we can set it up to the to be regulated automatically uh, according to the ambient light you have around you the next setting is the anti-flicker mode which basically just lowers the flicker preview why the light is low and why the brightness is low in order to access this mode as you can see whilst trying to enable it it will warn you that uh, the anti-flicker mode will set the screen refresh rate to 60 hertz so as for right now, I'll actually go ahead and enable it. Here you also have the reading mode, which basically just warms up the colors of your phone, filters out the blue light, and allows you to have the longer reading sessions on your smartphone without your eyes being that much tired as they would be without this mode. Uh, there are also two modes uh, that you can uh, choose from inside the reading mode. You can either just go for the paper mode or classic mode. That is also possible to set up a schedule for it. Next we have the color scheme options, which basically just uh, lets us choose what uh, colors should be, uh, what, what color schemes do you want to, to be displayed and what colors um, we, we want to use, basically. Here we can uh, either choose from the pre uh, from the available presets like vivid, saturated, original color, or advanced settings, which will get us to some other advanced settings when we can, for example, regulate the RGB color space individually. So uh, set up this custom red, green, or blue color level. Regulate the color space by uh, altering the hue, saturation, value, contrast, and gamma. Or you can, uh, while choosing any of the available presets, you can just regulate the color temperature that you have on your phone, either by moving this circle around the palette, or by choosing one of the presets that are already here for you. I'll just go with warm, as for right now. Next we have the refresh rate settings, which allows us to switch between uh, two refresh rates this one has to offer. We can either be at 60 Hz and have the battery, um, the longer battery life, or be at 120 Hz uh, and have the smoother and uh, smoother animations and overall better visual experience with our phone. So uh, choose any mode that you'd like. Uh, there is also, it is also possible to be at the default mode, which just uh, automatically adjust uh, the refresh rate to the state of your battery so if you have a very low battery level it will uh, lower the refresh rate if you have sufficient battery level it will rather go for the higher and smoother animations and also as a bonus you have this preview on top of your screen on top of the setting to see what the standard and high refresh rate mode look like after that you have the ai image engine which basically just uh, enhances the images and visual experience you will have with your phone. There are all kinds of settings uh, with and every in each setting contains the preview. So we highly recommend on you uh, going for this category and playing around with this settings to configure it and personalize it. After that, we have the very standard text size, which we can increase or decrease respectively. I'll just leave it as at small value. There is also a setting which allows us to choose the mode of our of our display while uh, using the VR, either reduce the blur or reduce flicker. And it is also possible to either enable or disable the auto rotate screen option as well. Or you can actually do it from the control center of your device. The icon looks just like this as you can see. 
and right now this mod should be enabled so that was it for this video thank you so much for watching and bye bye